Sun's out and we're in a wind tunnel. Welcome guys, today we are gonna tour the new HQ. It's the most requested YouTube video, so I guess we gotta do it. Let's go. Why, why do you think um, you know, your brand popped off, I guess? Like, you know. Cause it's sick. Yeah. yeah. We're on our way to Belfast. We've never been to Ireland before. But we're meeting Black Box, who did the gym equipment for my whole gym. Fucking amazing stuff. So they're going to do the full HQ gym um, at Represent, which was always a plan in the first place. I just did the home gym just to see what the equipment was like, get a feel for it, and make sure that was the right place. This was always in the back of my mind, and now we're finally expanding the unit. So we've got a full gym for everyone in the office and it's going to be sick so we're going picking it out and designing it today wow this airport's tiny yeah this could be blackpool airport yeah man i'm here for it <laughs> cold windy gray just like home just like <laughs> of like a Nexus, like a mini version of a March on style that you've I'm sure you've seen and worked out on. Yeah. Um, with that double stacks, cable flies, delt slap pull downs with all attachments. So like that's that. like the one I've got at home, right? Yeah. Sorry. Fucking hell, where's the snow gone? So, we're walking across to Unit 2 and Unit 3, which we've just acquired, and building has started for the expansion of the headquarters. So this will be walking into the gym. It's about 5,000 square foot. It's going to be all this floor. As we walk through the gym, this is going to be an absolutely massive studio. So everything will be shot in the house from now on, unless we need to do a campaign on location. On this side we will house all the design team. So this structure that's going up now is all going to be magnetic boards, so we can put products up there and stuff like that. It'll all be quite chilled area, nice and open. As you can see at the moment through this video, the office is quite a bit of a dump and everything's all over the place. Some would say organised chaos, I'd just say a shithole. Um, but it will look a lot better, so the next video of this, you'll see the dramatic change we'll have. Today we're filming for the HQ tour. It's currently 6.30am, the girls are in the gym, hitting the 247 class. About to switch to the guys, we'll take you inside. to war we won I am no survivors so originally when we started the brand three years into the build we moved into this warehouse on the end and we thought we'd never fill it it was used as our distribution center um, staff headquarters just everything all in one it was 6,000 square foot and eventually moved all of our distribution out of here and turned it into an office during COVID because we had we were growing quite a lot and we wanted to move our um, stock to a 3PL just so we could get an easier growth with the business and how we were developing. So this was the original warehouse. Now it's currently a kitchen and a lot of the digital team are in here as well. So come over here with me. This little room here where the window was was our first office so me and Mike could work in here. Steph and James would work on the other side of it and then all this was just like boxes of stock. Back in 2014 to 2000 and 
19. Obviously now it's all been built out into a pretty cool kitchen, dining space, we've got pool table, we've got ping pong. Moving down here, we built like a um, couple of meeting rooms and a couple of offices where we all used to work when this was a warehouse. Coming this way, we've got a pretty cool showroom. So we always used to rent out spaces in Manchester or London to take our buyers through. So like when Harvey Nichols or Selfridges or Rend had come through, they'd have to, we'd have to rent out a space and basically show them around the collection that way. This time we've built it out in here so we can invite all our buyers over here. It's kind of cool. Also, we use it just for like the product team to come in and feel the product and see the designs and look at the collection and kind of like build out what the future of the the, the brand is going to look like because it's always hard to do that when you're stuck in the mix with products like you're looking at things from the past you're looking at things from the future but you're not seeing it as a whole you're not seeing every single category together until it's displayed in its showroom and whether that's in Paris or New York or wherever it's kind of hard to see it until it's finally done so this gives us room for development there seeing the collection figuring out what's missing figuring out what we need to improve on all that kind of good stuff got a bit of a foot room showroom here so You'll see the Raptor, Apex, HTN, which is a move on from the Alpha. Give you a little sneak peek of next year's. I was going to say sneak peek, everything in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, season. Spring Summer 24, a lot of it. Um, this is a HTN for Spring Summer 24, so it's got an initial uh, embroidery on the leather. It's got some pretty cool pastel colours on it. Yeah, we've got the bully over there. The studio sneaker, which hopefully will launch this year. We showed it in Paris. Latest Downers Club collection that we just launched last night. Don't know when this video will go out. Probably next week, so last week. And if you come through here, we've got... Yeah. <laughs> if you come through here, we've got another few meeting rooms, which then backs off into our design space, which I'll take you around to now. We've got accounts and we've got production and merchandise in this room. So they're all together here. It's quite a clean room, there's not much like product going on so it doesn't get too messy. And then we've cut a bit of a hole through into the next unit which now is our product room. So we've got footwear, we've got apparel, we've got design, development and garment tech all in here along with me and James. We made all like the walls um, magnetic boards in here just so we can pin everything up all the time and visually see everything better. And then if you, go, if you look through there, they're the meeting rooms that we just backed onto the showroom with. Is he working hard or hardly working? Number one guy in the business. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely faking it. <laughs> All right, come through here. We had one toilet that we shared with 50 staff um, back when we were just in that room. So sorry, we were, we were in there, which was 6,000 square foot for like many years and we just outgrew it and eventually we wanted to take on all these units but it was a bit of a struggle getting the neighbours to move but eventually we got them to move and we created this place which was always the dream since like 2015, 16 I'd always drawn this up just to say like this is how I want it to go, I want to expand into next door then the next door into that and then build this whole ecosystem where eventually we could just spend all day every day in here and have a good time and get the full business done. So coming through here is Harry's space the studio it's like 2,000 square foot in total we wanted to build this out because we spent so much time and effort renting out spaces all over Manchester London wherever it is where we've got to drive steam clothes set up a studio sometimes we don't bring the right things you know it, there's always something wrong when you do it and it takes a lot of time so I wanted to build something out that can last us that we can shoot every single lookbook, every single e-com shoot, all our product shots and even build out some campaigns in here, that's why it's so big. So there's enough room to like drive cars in or whatever it is that we need to do. Probably my favourite space in the building except from the gym, just because we can be creative in here, we can do what we want to do. So going upstairs, um, we have all the digital marketing team and the content team and what was mine and Mike's office, but I've not emigrated into mine yet. Might never do so, but we'll see. We just tried to like emulate what it looks like downstairs with the concrete floors. Everything in here is like black and white theme because I remember seeing Essence Montreal when they built their office out and how Rick Owens does his studios and his stores all over the world. Like they're, they're my favorite places just because they're so black, white and a bit of greenery. Like I don't like too much color. I don't wear a lot of color. 
don't design a lot of colour. Um, I like things quite quite modest. I feel like a nice clean white black concrete working area is so much better for the mind than something that's busy. Which is not the same as Mike and you'll see that when you come in his office now. This is what was meant to be my office. I kind of got it so it looks over the gym. It's quite a cool space. I've just not built it out properly yet and not filled it up. The desk would be there. We've got some magnetic walls here, whiteboards on both sides, a little meeting area, and then it looks over the studio, and of course, the gymnasium. That there is uh, Jamie Nichols. Jamie, say hi. Hey guys, you alright? King of sales. Uh, probably the best salesman in the whole of the fashion industry. Not just the fashion industry. No? The world. The world. Yeah. <laughs> the world. Nice Wait, pan back. This is a wild sighting. Jake, come and introduce yourself. <laughs> the man that needs no introduction. This motherfucker is the strongest, fittest, fastest, and most jack guy I've ever met. And still natural, probably forever. Forever, <laughs> yeah. I'm too scared. He runs all the 247 classes, programs everything for the gym, personally coaches myself and Mike, and even my dad at the moment, uh, and has a very strong career ahead of him. Guy's an absolute animal, as you probably know. Oh, Is that good enough? Thank you. That was very kind. That was very kind. Hold on, go on. Point the mic down, lad. Let them speak for themselves. These are illegal in Represent HQ, so I don't know why you still got them on. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? <laughs> no, they don't have mouths, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite space in the building. Um, I wanted to build a gym here, even though I've got one at home for myself because I wanted everyone to feel what I've been through for the past three, four years and how it's built my mental toughness, resilience, grit, determination. I think it all just like pays off in not just your personal life, but in your business life as well. So I thought if I can do what I've done with myself and like I was going to a hybrid performance center, which is pretty local to here and met a bunch of guys that run that place and some savage guys that train there. And I feel like my bond with them guys was so strong through training and through doing rigorous hard exercises that if I can get the guys in here to do the same and as we're growing as a company so much like there's so many different teams that don't interact with each other on a daily so there's like different digital teams upstairs there's product teams downstairs there's finance teams that would never speak to someone who's in a graphic design team so I wanted to bring classes in here and that's why Jake's here that's why Emily's here where they can coach these hybrid classes where everyone can get down get hard hard work together and really just like bond through that I feel like that's the best way of bonding so every morning 6 30 a.m 7 30 a.m we've got guys and girls classes on where everyone comes and trains I think like 50 percent of the business are already in here training full nutrition training plans whatever anyone wants Jake and Emily sort that shit out so I feel like it's just a good thing to have in the business and like to me it's not so much of a cost where it can actually change people's lives and not just the business that I'm doing I can change their lives and we're only like 10 12 weeks into this now um, and the gains I'm seeing from people like not just physically but like mentally is unbelievable um, and there's some quite fucking savage guys in here that are giving me a run for the money so it's quite humbling <laughs> well I'll take you in now I got um, black box to make everything in here them guys designed the little gym that I had in my garage at home and I loved it quality of the stuff was great met the guys that own it and a few guys in sales that are just cool guys love the brand not the cheapest brand in the world, but definitely the best. It's a proper functional fitness gym. They're, they're like probably, I'm going to say one of the best equipment suppliers in Europe at least. Um, so I wanted them to do everything. I wanted the theme to carry through from the office, which was all black and white. This one a, bit, a little bit darker. We've got blacked out mirrors. We've got full like 247 branding on the rigs. Got the big 247 logo on the wall. Our mission statement over here going into the restrooms. So I want to end this video with a massive shout out to Kevin at One Fine Day who basically rendered, designed and moved us into this place. Um, the timelines that he gave us, he hit all of them spot on, which was insane. I've never seen like a commercial build out do something like that. And the, man the management that he had where he moved us into one office whilst we were creating the, this, the office that we were originally in, all at the same time was just mind blowing. 
We'll put his link in the description below, if that makes sense. And I'm sure we'll be doing a community day soon where we'll invite all our VIP customers to come and check out the, the new space and probably get a little session in, in here as well. Thanks for watching. Just want to go in there. <laughs> yeah, they're watching some shit on TV, aren't they? <laughs>